Welcome to this lesson on notating and evaluating functions. So function notation is the way a function is named. And remember, a function is just a special type of relation. It's the relationship between inputs and outputs. So function notation represents the output values. All right, so this is function notation here. And it's read f of x, f of x, and then of course equals x plus 4. So we have dealt with equations before. We have dealt with equations like y equals x plus 4. I'm sure you've seen that. So function notation just replaces the y or the outputs of a function with f of x. And it just means it's a function of x. Evaluating functions means finding the output value for a particular input of a function. So for example, I have the function f of x equals 3x minus 5. And I want to find f of 2. So I want to find what output is this function going to give me when I input the value of 2. So all you have to do is substitute in 2 for x. So if I want to find f of 2, I'm going to substitute my x for 2 and see what output I get when I input a 2. All right, so let's see. That would be 3 times 2 is 6 minus 5, which is 1. So f of 2 equals 1. OK, so let's try some examples. So number one says, if g of x equals x squared minus 1, find g of negative 5. So I'm just going to substitute in negative 5 for my x. And when you have negatives, you always want to put any exponents on the outside of the parentheses. Don't forget that. Because you want to square the whole value negative 5, not just 5, but negative 5. All right, so that's going to give me negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25 minus 1. So that means g of negative 5 is 24. All right, number 2. Given g of x is 5x cubed plus 4, find g of 2. All right, so let's substitute in 2 for x. All right, so here I'm going to do the exponent first. So 2 cubed, that's 8. So 5 times 8, that's 40, plus 4. So g of 2 is 44. Let me box this in also. All right, when you're given a table and you want to find g of 5, you just find where x is 5, and that output is 10. So g of 5 is 10. So when I input 5, the output is 10. When you have a graph, so the function f of x is graphed, find f of 2. I'm going to find 2 on the x-axis, so 1, 2. And I'm going to go up to that value on my graph, which would be here. So basically, when my input is 2, my output is also 2, because this point is 2, 2. So f of 2 gives me an output of 2. All right, number 5. If h of x equals 4x minus 5 and h of x equals 19, find x. So this one is a little bit different. So we are given two values for h of x. We know that this expression is h of x, and we know that it also equals 19. So I can set those two values equal to each other and solve for x. So I can add 5 to both sides. And then divide by 4. So x is 6. All right, number six. Given f of x equals 2x minus 1, 
find f of 2 minus f of 5. So here we're finding two values of the, of the function. We're evaluating it at two places. So let's find f of 2 first. So I'm going to substitute in 2 for my x value. So that would be 4 minus 1, which is 3. And then I'm going to find f of 5. So I'm going to substitute in 5 for my x value. So 2 times 5 is 10, minus 1 is 9. Now make sure you read carefully what the question is asking. This is saying find f of 2, which was 3, minus f of 5, which was 9. So I want to subtract 3 minus 9, which gives me a value of negative 6. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete the practice.